using the above 21-dimensional BPM protractor, the Roman calendar, Julian calendar and our current Gregorian calendar have been plotted in circular time in relation to the equinox and solstice markers of the four seasons. This exercise can help DJ students and teachers visualize the historical western timekeeping shifts that took place in relation to our planet while building core mathematic conversion strategies. The main diagram depicts the names of the 13-month Julian calendar, 12-month Gregorian calendar, 10-month Roman calendar, 7 days of the week, the four map directions and the two polar directions inserted into each cell of the vortex dimension with the corresponding number. One can notice the similarities between the names of the months along with the linguistic problems that arose when September, October, November and December in the 10-month Roman calendar were shifted three months in the Julian calendar and two months in the modern 12-month Gregorian calendar. In the Roman calendar. The Latin names of numbers reflect the names of these months since Sept equals 7, October equals 8, November equals 9 and December equals 10. Yet our, our modern Gregorian calendar places September as the 9th month, October as the 10th month, November as the 11th month and December as the 12th month as a result of Pope Gregory XIII tweaking in it October of 1582. For those whom speak Spanish, it also becomes clear that the days of the week lunes, Monday, and martes, Tuesday, that appear at the first half of the week, share a linguistic similarity to the fourth Roman month lunius and the fourth Julian month martius that appear in the first half of the year. At the bottom of the diagram is an answer to the four-part question for advanced students, what are corresponding BPMs to the spring equinox, summer solstice? fall equinox and winter solstice. To solve this problem we must first convert the number of days that each solstice and equinox appear on the calendar and convert them to degrees using the following equation. Event degrees equals, number of event days divided by 365 days, times, x degrees divided by 360 degrees. To solve for x degrees or the degrees of the event, we can cross multiply the number of event days by 360 degrees and divide that total by 365 days creating the equation. Event degrees equals 360 degrees times number of days divided by 365. Answer number 1, in the case of the spring equinox event, we can plug in 79 days into the equation as follows. Spring equinox degrees equals SC degrees equals 360 degrees times 79 days divided by 365 days equals 77.91 degrees. To find the corresponding BPM of the spring equinox, we use the TTM BPM geometric equation. BPM equals 360 degrees divided by x degrees, times 33.33. So, the answer can be deduced in this manner when the degrees are plugged into the equation. SE BPM equals, 360 degrees divided by 77.91 degrees, times 33.33 equals 154.02 BPM. Answer number 2. To solve for the summer solstice that falls on the 172nd day, we can add it to the same equations as follows. Summer solstice degrees equals SS degrees equals 360 degrees times 172 days divided by 365 days equals 169.64 degrees. SS BPM equals 360 degrees divided by 169.64 degrees, times 33.33. SS BPM equals 70.7 BPM. Answer number 3, to solve for the fall equinox that falls on the 265th day, we can add it to the same equations as follows. Fall equinox degrees equals Fe degrees equals 360 degrees times 265 days divided by 365 days 
equals 261.37 degrees. FEBPM equals 360 degrees divided by 261.37 degrees times 33.33. FEBPM equals 45.9 BPM. Answer number 4. To solve for the winter solstice that falls on the 355th day, we can add it to the same equations as follows. Winter solstice degrees equals WS degrees equals 360 degrees times 355 days divided by 365 days equals 350 degrees. WS BPM equals 360 degrees divided by 350 degrees times 33.33 WS BPM equals 34.286 BPM Lastly, we will cover other timekeeping systems in the future using the BPM protracted to decipher non-Western calendars such as the 260-day Mayan calendar as well as others. What's interesting about the BPM conversions of the equinox and solstice events is that as the year gets colder and colder, the beats per minute BPM, slows down or drops which means it has a positive relationship to the temperature. Molecules in the air, and other objects, follow this same relationship as they move slower and slower as the BPM of the protractor slows down.